At the height of the Adalian Empire's power, a man named Simeon, an Adalian himself who was prone to so-called mystical fits, declared to all who would listen that he had been contacted by the one true god of this world, a god named Anlek. He preached that the power of essence, with which the Empire's might had been built, was itself a manifestation of Anlek's will, and for mortal hands to meddle with such power was the gravest of sins. While some heard truth in Simeon's words, for the most part, he and his followers were ignored by the Adalians. Their warnings that Anlek's wrath would punish the Empire for their supposedly false beliefs sounded like little more than the ravings of a madman after centuries of life enriched by the powers of essence, and so saw little reason to humor this new faith. Furious at the response to his revelation, or lack thereof, Simeon gathered together all those who had chosen to follow him and brought them down into the depths of the essence mines into the misused temples of long-abandoned gods, which they eventually defaced and rededicated to Anlek. Thus began the group we know as the Guides. Ascetic as a rule, the Guides believe Anlek must be praised within the most simple of chambers and wearing simple garments, a belief in direct conflict with the opulence and extravagance of a Dalian culture. Hidden away in these tunnels, the guide's hate for the empire above them grew into a new purpose. With another revelation, Simeon informed his followers that, as living embodiment of Anlek's will, the guides alone were exempt from his prohibition of essence use. He promptly bid that his people begin to experiment with the holy mineral, for he had realized that the secret to punishing the empire which ignored and belittled him, was hidden within the glimmering stone. How many years they spent experimenting in the mines isn't clear, but what we do know is that one day, six guides gathered together beneath the shining city of Razlan, each lending their voice to a new incantation never before heard in the world. Huge chunks of bedrock were sent into the fold, weakening the foundations upon which the city was built before triggering a chain reaction, which spread throughout the massive veins of essence with catastrophic force. Razlan collapsed overhead, followed soon after by the destruction of two more important cities in the Empire. Simeon had made his prophecy of doom come true, and as Adol crumbled apart, the guides made sure they were among the survivors fleeing the destruction, ready to remind these terrified, confused people that this was the wrath of their god, and that it will happen again unless they allow themselves to be guided by the law of Anlek. We have no way of knowing how much time has passed since the downfall, but we do know that in that time, the guides have risen to the de facto authority across the continent of Elentia. It was some time during this period that the guides made contact with the Etherans, offering their knowledge of essence and access to the reserves in exchange for Etheran aid in creating absolver masks and shrines, further solidifying their power with an immortal army of expert warriors. The guides rule from their stronghold in a doll's northern mountains now, a place known as Tower Point, where new potential prospects arrive constantly in hopes of better serving these supposed saviors of the world and their so-called god.